What is up, guys? It is me, Squib Pokemon. And, you know, we're back here. But, like I said in my last video, uh, I, I told you my schedule. I might not be able to go off of that, okay? I'm having a lot of family issues. But, we're still going to try our hardest to make the coda for three videos every other week. Okay, so our first video today is, you remember how I mentioned I have a binder of, like, base set, jungle, and almost got the entire thing filled this close? Well, we're looking at that today. So this is my base set binder, and we're just going to go through it. I mean, it's not really... A super big deal, but like I'll stop to show you guys the hollows because that's what you want to look for. And there's a couple rare cards, not the rarest, but there is still some good ones. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start. So, first one I'm going to show you guys here is my Venusaur. This guy is a holographic. You can see I'm missing the Charizard, but I do got a Venusaur. And a Blastoise. So, you put that guy back in there. I'm not going to be taking every single one out, just like the cooler ones, okay? I'll point out a holographic, but this should be a shorter video, and I might get a couple more views on this one. So, this is the holographic Blastoise. They're in decent condition. I mean, there's some whitening on him, but then that is pretty decent condition. Okay, on this page, there is a holographic Pidgeot. You could actually probably see that within the thing. Yeah, you see the sparkle. Uh, I mean, I'll give you guys a second to look at the actual cards. So, you guys go. You can pause it if you want. This page, again, not many. There is this Raichu holographic. This one is the base set. But the Pikachu I have is from Jungle. So it's kind of a weird inconsistency. But, eh, whatever. This page, we got the, uh, we got Shiny Needle, not Shiny, Holographic Needle Queen, Holographic Needle King, Holographic Clefairy. Now, the reason why I'm taking this one out is because this card is actually shadowless. As you can see here, let me get that focused up here. There it is. As you can see, there is no shadow on that rim. It means it is a holographic sh uh, shadowless. Again, does have some damage. Not horrible. I say I could say getting forty dollars, maybe more, off of that. So. Oh, and also that wi uh, Clefable was holographic. This page, uh, we got the nine tails up there. I love the art. Uh, it is again holographic. Uh, let's just say every single card I point out is most likely a holographic. Again, the vial plume, it's a holographic. But uh, you guys can pause if you want to look at those better. This page, there is actually no holographic, which is surprising. So I'll let you guys pause if you want to look at them. Okay, this page. Uh, you all wait, I was about to say again, no uh, holographic, but the polyrath is in fact holographic. Again, pause the screen if you want to look better. Um, this, These are two cards I'm missing. I do not have an Alakazam, and I do not have the Machamp. Because, uh, personally, I never bought a booster box of this set. And you could, they were promos to the booster box, so I'll have to buy one, but they're only like a dollar. This page, again, no uh, holographics. We got Magneton up here. It is holographic. And Muck down here, which I'm going to go ahead and take this bad boy out. Just because I love this, um, love this one. Great. There it is. Um, nothing real special. I just love it. Okay, here's two more. 
For some reason, I do not have a Hypno, which is really weird, and I do not have a Gengar. So, I'm surprised about the Hypno. I thought I had one. I'll go through and I'll give you guys an update on the next video if I get any more of these sets. Oh, wait, did I... Uh, there is no holographics. Oh, wait, Hunter up there is a holographic. He's pretty cool. Uh, we got Hitting on Chan. That's a holographic. And I believe that is all. I want my exit. Uh, never mind. I thought that one was a rare. Oh, whatever. That card would be uh, him only. That would be a nice card to get uh, the holographic for. I don't have it, but whatever. Um. So on this page, we got uh, the Chansey and the Kangaskhan. Uh, but just another fun fact, uh, Horsey, uh, Kingdra did not happen. Whenever I first started playing, I thought Kingdra was another Gen 1 Pokemon. It is actually Gen 2. It was created in Gen 2 as a final evolution of Seedra. Okay, this page, there is, I do not believe, a single holographic. But there are some of my favorite cards I have. Including the old Jinx art that was actually canceled because it was considered racist. Which, I, I don't want to get any big into that. But that is a fun fact about the Jinx. This is the old art. They had to change the face to be uh, purple. Because of, like, racist. Also, I hate Mr. Mime, but, oh, uh, you know what. He's there. Okay. This is the page that I'll, I... I've showed a lot of people in my collection. This is the page people like. There are five shinies, not shiny, holographics, and they are all pretty good ones. The pincer is meh, but the other four are great. We got Gyarados, and yes, these are all holographic. I'll actually show you Shake the Binder a little bit, pull it up a little bit. You see the holographic thing? It's pretty crazy. So Gyarados, we got Lapras, we got Vaporeon, and we got Jolteon. And these are all really crazy, and I still cannot believe I personally have these cards in my collection. Next page, I used to have a holographic Flareon too, and then I sold it, so I recently had to buy a new one. Uh, the Kabutops is holographic, I do believe. Yes, it is. And the Articuno is as well. Final page, two holographics, the Dragonite and the Mewtwo. And the Mewtwo, uh, at least the people I've shown it to, they were they were like, this is crazy, because this is a holographic Mewtwo. Not as cool as the Charizard, but I gotta say, it's probably the second best, best card. Either that or the Gyarados. But, so that is my Pokemon collection of that. Now for the Pokemon of the day. Now, I do not have my deck with me right now. But, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, while I do that, you guys can uh, look at this page, I guess. So today's Pokemon is Sanaconda. From the new, uh, from sort of new, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, why do I have this open? It's not on here. Yes, but uh, if you do not know what a Sanaconda is, uh, I would just go to... Um, Safari and look, look up Sanaconda. It is a ground rock type Pokemon, I do believe. Do not add me on that. Um, that it's, it's a snake, I can tell you that. Uh, and is one of the 30 Pokemon that got a Gigantamax form. Not a Dynamax, but a Gigantamax. The Gigantamax is supposed to look like a tornado because of its... Uh, one of its signature moves, I do believe it is called Sandstorm. I don't know if it's signature, but I do believe that is the reason that Sanaconda got its name. Which is just sort of another fun fact. This video is full of fun facts. So, yeah. Sanaconda is a great Pokemon. My first time playing through the game, I actually got a Sanaconda. Now, to switch up our content this week, I was actually thinking... Maybe we bring in some of that gaming. 
You remember on the second video how I accidentally said, welcome to Squid, Squid Gaming? Well, we might actually bring that back because I might be playing Pokemon Y. Yep, you heard me. Not Pokemon Sun and Moon, not Sword and Shield, none of the Pokemon Y. Why? I don't know. I just felt like playing Y, so. That's basically my update, and I've... I hope you enjoyed the video, really. Uh, if you like it, uh, please, please subscribe, uh, like the video, and show, show me some love, please. please. If, um, I think I said this in my last video, but if we can get to 50 subscribers, I will open up a booster box in front of you guys, and we'll go on from them. Uh, but, so far, the channel's going pretty slow. If I'm still doing this by the time of October, I'm going to upgrade mic quality and video quality. Just for you guys, because, you know, you're my friends. But with that, I'll see you later. Bye!